we'll start a sketch on the top plane and the first tool we use is the polygon tool uh, we're set to uh, an inscribed circle and six edges now so we click at the center point and click to set a size uh, we can define this sketch by um, adding a diameter to the circle which will give us our, a cross flats size and then we can set one of the edges any one uh, to be horizontal that will be fully defined we can uh, extrude and we'll set the distance and control the direction if needs be okay to this uh, part now we'll revolve the flange so we'll pick a plane going through um, the center and start a new sketch on that plane so we're just going to draw um, a triangular type shape with the flat that uh, is needed at the end uh, and we'll add the center line, the, the line we're revolving around adding relations as we went along there uh, we can control the diameter dimension and we can add uh, a length of line there, we'll just press escape to come out of diameter mode we set the length of the line and then selecting two lines to add an angular dimension 30 degrees and we're going to features revolve and spin that geometry around uh, merging it with the existing geometry we've got two features in the tree and the next feature will be a revolved cut so we're looking for a plane that goes through uh, one of the straight um, edges one of the straight sides of the hexagon so when we revolve cut this little triangle we'll only be removing the corners of the hexagon it will give you that sort of classic nut style chamfer a uh, center line for the revolve and a few dimensions to define the sketch and make the sketch big enough so it will cut the corners off in full so rather than the revolve we'll revolve cut uh, 360 degrees and okay that gives us that you know, classic style of nut uh, if we use a hole wizard to put the M12 thread through um, so on the type we set the, the style of hole the standards we want to use and the size of the hole and its end condition which is through all then selecting the positions tab we'll click on the face where the hole is to start and then place a position for the center of the hole and we can finish off this little model with a, a fillet the fillet tool is quite uh, adaptable we can select a face and it will fill it all edges around that face or in this case we'll just select the edge and if you want to you can set uh, material properties so right click in the tree uh, we pick a plain carbon steel and then if you want to go further you can go to the evaluate tab and select mass properties it will tell you how heavy that part is going to be